Rashad Green became the all-time leader in receptions at Florida State. Jameis Winston threw three touchdown passes, and the defense forced three turnovers as top-ranked Florida State defeated Syracuse 38-20. First of all, you know, it's an honor you know, just to be in the category, you know, bypass, you know, guys like that, you know, like, you know, Ron Sillip and Peter Ward. So, you know, it, it, it's an honor, you know, it's a blessing, you know, I'm, I'm very thankful, you know, and I can honestly say, you know, a lot, you know, the hard work that I put in, you know, it's, it's, it's paid off for me. And, you know, I still have, you know, ways to go and I want to get better. Rashad and Nick, man, you know, it's... I'm, I'm blessed to have two guys like that, man, and, and it means so much to me that I can be, I can say that I'm their quarterback. They hold these records for Florida State, and uh, Rashad is like my brother. He's our best receiver by far. I mean, he's the most consistent receiver we have, and James is a go-to guy when he needs something. I mean, Rashad is a hell of a player, and I mean, he just does, does what he's got to do to get open. To be the leading receiver of some of the guys that went through Florida State University is a remarkable accomplishment. And that's, and, and uh, just, uh, like I say, greatness is measured to me with consistency and performance over a long period of time and that's what he is about I mean he makes the flash plays he makes all the big plays but you know to me kind of how he is to me and if I compared him to somebody people ask me to compare him to somebody reminds me of Derek Jeter I mean that's how that's how this offense is you know that's Florida State football when, you, when you're getting uh, multiple people uh, multiple catches uh, that's that's doing we, what we got to do because nobody can't specifically game plan for uh, one person when everybody making plays I like to see other guys you know get the ball and you know showcase what they can do you know I'm, I'm all about you know just just spreading the love you know because we all work hard together so I want everybody to you know get the opportunities and do great so you know I love seeing him spread the ball around and, and plus you know that that spreads the defenses out you know you can't really do a lot of double coverages and things like that so you know I, I love seeing that. You know, one of the big stories on the day that I was extremely proud of from our defense even though they moved the ball on us we played tremendous red zone tight zone defense and created some turnovers down there held in the field goals got some fourth down stops that were really I thought critical in the game I think they did a great job that we just end up in that, that bad field position and it might not be on us you know it might have been a mistake on special teams you know what I'm saying we or a turnover on offense you know when we back in that mindset in the red zone you know, we just got to really buckle down and stonewall defense. So, you know, we just made sure that everybody is, you know, extra paying extra attention to detail. It's finally here. You know, you can't say, well, we're just away and we're taking a, a, a day by day. So, uh, it's finally here. And uh, Notre Dame has a, a great football uh, team. But, you know, we're still Florida State. And uh, we're, not, we're not looking to, to lose. We're, we're, we're going to focus on having a great practice and get better every week. Next up for the Knowles is a prime time showdown at Doken. Campbell Stadium as Florida State welcomes sixth ranked Notre Dame. Game day will be in town. It will be prime time on ABC, and you don't want to miss out on this one. That'll wrap up things from the Carrier Dome. Lane Hurt, Seminoles.com.